The Iowa caucuses lived up to their reputation. The first in the nation contest significantly narrowed the presidential field. Four candidates remain in the race for the nomination. Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley and Ryan Binkley. A couple of White House hopefuls ended their run. This morning, Asa Hutchinson dropped out of the race. The former Arkansas governor finished last in the caucuses. Vivek Ramaswamy suspended his campaign last night after finishing fourth. He is endorsing Donald Trump for president. Now they're off to New Hampshire, and the race looks far different from just 24 hours ago. Chief political reporter Amanda Rooker has been following these candidates for months. She has a look at what comes next for them with a week until the New Hampshire primary. Amanda. Well, Stacey, Ben, the results of last night's caucus show that Republicans who did not want Trump really failed to coalesce around a clear alternative to him in Iowa. DeSantis did earn more of their vote. He finished slightly ahead of Nikki Haley, but neither came close to Donald Trump, who secured a resounding win. From attack ad to attack ad, DeSantis can't stop lying about Nikki. To mudslinging on the debate stage, Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley spent most of their time attacking each other in Iowa instead of front runner Donald Trump. But both finished far behind the former president who left Iowa with momentum and a record setting win. When Iowa Republicans spoke, he won not by 20 percentage points, but by 30 percentage points. I think last night confirmed that Donald Trump is firmly in control of this race. Despite finishing 30 points behind the former president, DeSantis celebrated his second place finish, telling supporters it keeps him in the race. Because of your support, in spite of all of that that they threw at us, everyone against us, we've got our ticket punched out of Iowa. But Haley claimed her close third place finish cements her as Trump's chief Republican rival. I can safely say tonight Iowa made this Republican primary a two person race. Republican strategist Eric Wilson says Haley may be right. Well, it's unusual for a, for a candidate to finish third and then say it's a two person race, but it really does come down to that. Wilson says that's because Haley has more resources and compared to DeSantis, a more realistic path to the presidency. Governor uh, DeSantis doesn't have the organization in place that uh, uh, Ambassador Haley does in uh, not only uh, New Hampshire, where she's very strong, but uh, also uh, South Carolina and on. While Iowa's first in the nation caucus plays a significant role, sending a signal to the world about who Republicans want in the White House, political analyst Mark Sandalow cautions there's still a long road ahead. 40 delegates out of 2,500 is what Iowa contributed last night. That's one and a half percent of all the delegates. If this were a football game, we'd still be in the first minute of play. A long road ahead for sure. And, you know, it's unclear who the supporters of Avek Ramaswamy will now gravitate toward now that he's officially out of the running. He earned just under 8% in Iowa. As of yesterday, he was averaging 5% in the polls in New Hampshire. That's according to 538. We'll find out next week what kind of difference it makes now that his campaign is over.